I'm Nico. Um, now I'm going to take you through uh, my quali lap this year, which put me in second position uh, in quali two, just behind Felipe Massa, which was uh, I was really happy with that. Um, so going into the first corner here, I made a little bit of a mistake there on the exit. As you can see, it was uh, really loose uh, on the rear, so I lost a bit of time there, but still it wasn't bad. Going up the hill, you got late, late braking there, carrying the speed through and stay very tight on the on the rails, left, right, over the bump. Um, and here breaking into uh, Mirabeau, uh, second gear corner, and then breaking into the slowest corner of the year. And now you're going downhill, uh, a lot of curb on there, all the way up the pavement. And then this corner is very important, you need to stay very tight on the, on the rails in the, in the inside, because it's really important to get a good exit, because it's the longest straight of the track. Um, going through the tunnel, here you go into the harbour chicane, very, very tight. It's important to get the, the curb right there because if you take too much, it kicks you off. If you don't take enough, you're going to be too slow. Oh, that was a bit of oversteer there. <laughs> Lost a bit of time there. That was the fastest part of the track. Now we're coming into the second harbour chicane. A lot of, lot of curb again. Um, and again, running very close to the rails. That's always important in Monaco. That's two first gear corners here to finish off the lap. Staying very close on the inside. And um, that was my lap of, uh, of Monaco this year. It's, it's always great. Um, to drive with an F1 car in Monaco. It's a lot of fun, it's very exciting, and uh, I really felt comfortable there in my uh, home Grand Prix. So um, no, it, was, uh, it was a very nice qualifying for me.